Hey everybody, Bird Dog John here. I want to give you a quick little lesson in how to use NDI analysis. It's a great little tool that New Tech came out with. There's not a whole lot of like how to stuff here. So this is a quick brief video on how to use NDI analysis. What we use it for is finding lost IP addresses or just finding IP addresses of our NDI encode sources on our network. Okay. Uh, and there's a couple of cool little tricks that we can do to find all network sources. And I'll show all of that in this video. I hope it to be less than 10 minutes. So here we go. What we want to do is we want to download from NDI.tv. We're going to download NDI analysis. Okay. It's on their downloads page and it's just a simple little command prompt. Uh, and when you open it up, you install it. It's an exe file. When you install it, it's going to look like this. It's command prompt, old school. Great. Tells you what you need to know. To run NDI analysis, we type in NDI analysis.exe or for you pro users, we can just type in NDI and then hit tab and that will fill in analysis.exe space slash find and hit enter. What this does is this tells us that there are two NDI sources, encode sources in this case, that are on my network. There is an HDMI, which is a, it's a bird dog mini. And there's a uh, P100 camera and it tells me, look there, it, well, let me make this bigger, shows me the IP address, shows me what port it's using, shows me that it's an NDI signal, really helpful stuff. And so now I could go to Chrome and I could just punch in the IP address in the Chrome address bar and I could get into the P100 or I could get into the mini, start making some adjustments. Now there is a feature like say we have a unit like this bird dog flex, which is a brand new unit that you need to go check out on the bird dog website. We have this bird dog flex and we don't know what its IP address is. What we do is we it, flex in and flex backpack are both uh, encoders. And so we are going to send it an encode signal. So here's an HDMI cable coming off of the back of a P100 and I'm going to plug it into the HDMI and then I'm going to just take my PoE plus cable and plug it in. And now bird dog flex is going to go through its standardized boot up sequence. Uh, we're going to get a yellow halo ring. This thing is really cool. There it goes a little bit hard to see on the video. Really cool. Uh, this little bird dog flex and it's going to boot up. What we're going to do in NDI analysis is we're going to type in NDI analysis slash find space slash time semicolon 60 60 and hit enter. It's going to show us that we have two uh, sources found on the network, but what it's going to do is it's going to take instead of five seconds, it's going to take 60 seconds and it's going to continue to search for NDI sources on my network. So as we're booting up uh, a device, uh, this you know device will come online, will acquire its own IP address from my DHCP server, and then it's going to start encoding. When it does that, you're going to notice the NDI source goes from two to three. And so now I know this device came on, an additional NDI source was found, and we can actually hit control C, which is the old school command prompt for cancel, and then uh, just enter a couple of times, and it will dump the rest of the remaining seconds and give us our list. So here it is now, we have the P100, we have this mini, and now we have this flex that I've conveniently named for dog dash flex in. So now flex in is 77.29. Now, here is the one catch is, well, John, this only works for encoding signals. Well, that is true. The device needs to be encoding an NDI signal in order for us to find it. But what if we have a bird dog decoder and it's not encoding, it's decoding a signal? Well, here's a quick little cheat for you to do. Open up Access Manager, and if you've got Studio Monitor installed, which you should, you will also have a program called Access Manager. And inside Access Manager, it looks like this. Access Manager is a great little program. It has a lot of powerful tools, but for, for today's purposes, we're going to go to Receive Groups and say New. And it's going to open up a little window here, and we're going to type in bird dog dash comms, and then we're going to hit OK. And then we're going to say bird dog dash send dash comms. I'm sorry, I'm not doing this on screen. So bird dog dash send dash comms. And we're going to hit OK. And these are going to get listed inside this public receive group. And we're going to hit OK. Now we're going to run our NDI analysis again. And watch what happens when we do that. Now we have eight. Whoops, I'm sorry. Now we have eight sources found. Well, why is that? Well, 
comms is actually an NDI uh, channel. And so we can reveal it and find our decoders on our network by putting in and revealing the bird dog comms channels inside Access Manager. And so now I can just hit enter here and say cancel. Now we can see all of our HDMI channels. We can see our P100, our flex, but now we can see all the parallel comms channels that are operational during encode or decode. So now we see this other device here that is 77.19. Well, that happens to be a device that's in decode mode on my network. We can also see the comms networks for flex in. So it will say comms next to it. So we know, okay, that's the same one here, 7729, 7729. That's not the one I'm looking for. But the device that I have that's in decode is, must be this one, and that's 7719. This program reveals all of the IP addresses for all of our NDI devices on the network. And so you can ask it, you know, to reveal all those for you, and then you can find those on your network. So say you've lost your IP address, say it's been assigned by the DHCP and you don't know what it is yet. Say you uh, got a device, maybe it's you purchased it from someone else and they had it set to static. During the boot up process for your NDI device, and this works for um, all encoders, NDI and NDI HX, and then the bird dog decoders with the comms trick that I just showed you, boot them up, run the little find with the timer, and let it go through. And what happens is as soon as the device announces itself, it gets cataloged. So even if it goes, for example, the bird dog devices boot up with 192.168.100.100, and it will broadcast that briefly on the network during boot up if it doesn't get an address from the DHCP. So then you know that the device is in fallback or is in default. And all you got to do then is you go to your control panel, and you click on network and internet, you click on network and sharing center, open up, and we click on change adapter settings. And inside here, we can right click and or just double click, open up our properties, hit properties, go to IPv4, and then we can say alternate configuration, or we can go into advanced and put in our IP address that we want as our alternate here, okay? So that's a more advanced feature. That's more of an advanced um, setup, and we'll talk more about that in the video. But NDI analysis is a, is a great tool for this. I really hope you take a second to get yourself familiar with it. If you are implementing NDI in any way on your networks, you need to have this tool on your Windows machine. Okay, it's a Windows exclusive tool, but you need to have it. It's very important. It's very handy, and it helps you clear up a lot of questions about what is the status of the network device inside the NDI space. So I hope you find this helpful. I hope you guys uh, shoot me a message if you do find it helpful, or if you have other suggestions for videos we need to make, and we'll take care of that. Otherwise, we'll see you guys on the next helpful video. Talk to you soon. Cheers.